Welcome back to Adoptions from the Heart TV. I'm your host, Amanda Alberti. One of the big parts to the adoption process is what happens after an adoptive family has been placed with a child. Today we're going to sit down with Katie and Kristen who are gonna talk about the post-placement process. Take it away, Katie and Kristen. Today we're going to talk about what to expect in your post-placement visits, so the visits that your social worker comes to your home um, after you've been placed with a child. Um, so usually it's a very laid-back experience, right? Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, definitely. I think people get a little nervous that it's this big formal visit that we're really looking for every little nitpicky thing when really we're not. No, we're not going through your home, looking at every room. Um, we're just here to meet with you and see how you're adjusting to this the placement. placement yeah of course I think there's two really big things um, of course concerning you the adoptive parents and the child right so we want to make sure that you know you're being supported and we're also making sure that the placement is going well itself yeah and I feel like this is your time to let us know um, if you are struggling um, we are there for you to kind of understand what you're going through we work with clients all yeah. the time who have done placements um, so if you feel isolated um, if you feel like someone may not really know what you're going through yeah. um, in your adoption placement, um, this is your time to voice that so we can provide you support. Yeah, I think one of the biggest mistakes you could make during these visits is pretending like everything is really perfect and when it's not, it's okay to struggle. Um, yeah. Parenting is really hard. Parenting a newborn is super hard. Yeah, so we want, us, want you to be honest with us so that we know how to support you in the best yeah, way. Yeah, and ask questions that you've been thinking about since placement. Um, this is when you're going to have us face to face yeah. um, and we're going to be able to make that connection and have a real um, conversation about your concerns. So if you're concerned about your future contact, if you're concerned about, you know, lack of sleep, please yeah. share it with us. Because um, we have resources, yeah. um, you know, whether it's for baby or for you, um, we, we're there to actually provide those for you and, and get that placement going to where it needs to be if you're having a hard time. Yeah, and they're super easy. They're about three to four visits. Yeah. Um, they take about 45 minutes to an hour. We come to your home, you may come to the office, um, and we're just there to chit chat about what's been going on since placement. Yeah, um, you can definitely expect it to span at least like three to four months. I mean, of course, there are things could change just depending on finalization and court dates, so always be aware of that. Um, but we do like to stay involved in your life, um, not only for legal purposes, but to make sure that we're following you through your journey because yeah. it's, it's a long road. Yeah, and this is, will be like your last place that you have to kind of meet with us. Um, so please share your concerns because we may lose touch. Um, we'll definitely never try to lose touch with you, but if you move or something, yeah. um, this is your time to really share what's going on. It's like a real life glimpse at what your life is like right now. Thank you so much ladies for talking about the post-placement process and alleviating some of the fears that families might have coming into the process. Thanks so much.